Good morning everyone. I've just picked up this guy here. What's up? What's up? It's Jono. Back in the dance, we're meeting Ben up the road and today we are taking you guys to Marion River. In my most recent YouTube video before this one, I got about 40 comments that people tell me that I do have on my seatbelt. So I'm just showing you all right now that the seatbelt is going on. I do um, obey the law and I wear my belt as often as possible. I'm sorry I may have forgotten in the last four or five videos to put on my seatbelt. But it's in, as you can see. Jono, can you confirm that the seatbelt is on? Yes, yes. It's on. It's, it's on. on. He's tested it very rigorously. The seatbelt is on. Um, we're heading up again to Marion River Beach today. Um, it's a beautiful beach, one of the last beaches on the north coast. And we're also going to surf, of course, and I figured since we're on a run of all these north coast beaches, why not do the one that's basically at the end of the road before the kind of dirt track starts to parry and that kind of stuff. And yeah, hopefully you don't see any litter. I'm touching on litter early on in the video. John, what do you think of litter? Hate it. You hate it? Sucks. it sucks. And what do you think of people who litter? Bad people. Bad people? Hell. Hell. <laughs> so you hear that? Littering is now damnation. You go down and the and the world will deal with you. So without further ado guys, let's head out. You wanna take us out? Let's go. So we just taken a little um, pit stop here by Saddle Hill Mini Mart. My boy Jono, Jono inside there again, um, some bottle of water first. So the place we're actually going, which I'll mention again when we're there, um, you could drive on to the beach and park, but you have to pay, I believe, 20 or 30 dollars to a person who owns like a piece of property there. You could also park any road and walk in, but um, I, I personally like to drive and park there, it's a little more convenient. I just like the fact that the truck is right there by the beach and I can access all my equipment and everything like real quick when we surf in and stuff. Like that. So that's the logic in it. Coffee. Alan, what do you think about all these huts? I find Rakas looking a lot better, man. It was not so nice when they were doing all the construction and that kind of stuff, but at least that they made the huts look a little more beachy and instead of concrete and ugly things, you know? I'm still not a big fan of this car park, though. Find the car park and this big wasser station in the back. I know, it's not so pretty, but then again, I don't really come Moroccan, so it don't matter. I know, how you feel about it? I like it man, positive changes. I saw a lot of people when I went for um, a bacon shrimp the other day, chilling on the decks. Nice little decks, nice little view for people to see. Alright guys, so we're gonna try to show you some landmarks along the way, so you know how to get to Marion's Bay. It's Marion's Bay, right? Yeah, Marion River, Marion, Marion Bay. Surfers call it pipes, so it's Marion River Beach or whatever, but we're gonna call it pipes because that's the name we were given growing up. So now um, I'm just gonna show you like different landmarks to make sure you're along the coast that you're driving the right way. So the first stop is Yara. So when you see Yara, that's when you know you're officially at the start of the Blanchard Shores. Sorry, <laughs> Blanchard Shares Road. Now in my last video I showed some of this however but we're gonna just take different videos because we're going to a different beach today and I just want to make sure you're on the right path and of course when we get there we'll show you exactly what to do and how to park, where to go etc. So that's the first stop and we're going forward now. Guys, another landmark along the way is D1 or um, this Blanche sign that you could first see D1 at the first point. 
yeah, so and we're gonna continue going. We're gonna continue going. So just look out for that Blanchet, and it's in the shape of a turtle, which is very creative, in fact. So yeah, that's another landmark. You'll see it on your left driving up. It's a straight road, but once you see that, you know you're following the right path. Hi guys, so the next landmark that we're passing actually is last week's video, D2 Beach. So we're in front of the view right now. Again, this is to let you know that you're still on the right track and you're heading up the road continuing. From D2 Beach, Marion River is approximately like another 10 minute drive. Beautiful drive as well too, so we're nearly there. But again, John will show you the lookout. When you see this, you know you're still on the right path. So another landmark guys, but this time on the right hand side, you'll see the Blanche Shares Police Station. So it's just a big blue building there, you can't miss it. And again, that is letting you know on the right track. So once you pass that police station, you know you're about five minutes away from the beach. You're very, very close. You'll see a TT post on a bar as well. And then a little church on this side here, I'll hand it to Jono so he can show you. Yeah, so pretty much that's all you're looking for. And once you see these last landmarks here, eh, this is actually an important part to show you. We're coming to the only point in time you can actually really make a wrong tear off on this road. And that's by this stop sign here. There's a fork in the road. So when you reach this fork in the road, if you go right, that's ahead of the old Arima Road, taking you back to that side. Obviously, you don't want to go that way. You're staying left. And left will take us on the path to the beach where we're headed. So we're continuing on. Alright guys, so here's our first look at Marion River Beach, or pipes as we call it. And it's a really beautiful beach as you can see. Sun is shining, John is up there. So, this beach, there's a couple of options when you get here. Where we've just pulled up is like the first turn off it. You can't really park here, it's more of a lookout where you can kind of come and assess the beach when you first arrive. After here, there's two other, or three other options actually. There's the first car park, where I don't normally go, but a lot of beachgoers do park there, and you have to pay to park in a private area. And then right beyond that, there's another entrance where you also have to pay, but you can drive directly up onto the beach, and it's near to the river end. So we're going to be going to that side there, we're going to call out to the guy, find out how much it is to park, and then stay there and pretty much chill for the day but this place is really really beautiful a really really um unutilized gem on Trinidad's north coast a lot less popular than the other beaches but it should be one of the most popular to be fair Jono you're a pipes fan? pipes fan big pipes fan and it looks like they got some big waves out there today all right so I'm gonna take you guys now to go and see where we're gonna park and that kind of stuff Hi guys, so this is the first entrance here and it's $20 to go down onto the beach. 20 and you're paying this lovely gentleman here. Thanks boss. Thank you. So make sure and look for him and pay your money when you come into the beach, right? Yes sir. No, I'm telling people make sure they pay their money when they're looking to come and park here. That's correct. That's correct. why I have to sit down right here. That's why we had the sign. And you get security when you come down here and everything correct. too. Perfect. Well, we appreciate it brother. Bless up.
All right, guys, so we've just arrived on Marian River Beach or pipes as we've been saying the whole time. Lo and behold, Ben is here yet again. Seems like we can't get rid of him, you know? Friday. We lose him on Friday. He leaves on Friday, unfortunately, so that's kind of sad. I don't know if you can see it through the GoPro, but it's actually an amazing rainbow with all these beautiful blue skies here. Check it out. Woo! And we are gonna go and surf those waves. So I'm actually gonna send the boys out and I'm gonna fly the drone a little bit. And then after all of that, we're gonna go and show you the ever cool thing about this beach, which is this big, beautiful river that they have on the other side there. Beautiful sunny day today at Marian's River Beach. Check it out. I'm gonna try to get some footage of the boys surfing. One of us has to do it. Hopefully I don't drown. It's pretty rough today. So it's gonna be a struggle. Let's see how it goes.
wanted to show you one last thing because it's not only the beach that's beautiful here they have the most amazing river so it's kind of really the best of both worlds for everybody if you want you can surf you can be in the ocean or you can come to this beautiful river behind us here great for a swim great for a swim it does get a little deep but it also has very shallow areas and it's great for John to run and do some I guess we're gonna call it skimboarding or scurfing <laughs> so Jono Yo. explain to us what you're about to do I'm about to run and jump on this surfboard uh -huh. and just see how far I could go I'm a little bit fat so I might not go that far but I'm still gonna try all right so just to be clear Jono's gonna run jump on this surfboard and see how far he can go Not very far guys, not very far. <laughs> so I actually wanted to let you know something very important about this beach. It's a beautiful, beautiful beach, but in terms of swimming, yes, it can be very rough and very big waves, but even when it's calm, I'm gonna show you right now. In this little channel right here behind me, so within the first, let's say, 10 feet of walking out at this beach, there's a big steep drop off. So if you're not a strong swimmer, you probably should stay away from the ocean in um, at this beach and stick to the river even strong swimmers you should be careful because it does get shallow further out but there's a part where it could come like straight up to your chin or even deeper sometimes and there's a sideways current pulling so please be very mindful when you're swimming at this beach if you're a good swimmer be careful if you're not a good swimmer maybe don't venture too far into the ocean stay in the river instead that's a very very important thing to remember so be careful Woo, what a day people, what a day, what a day. So we finally got Mr. Ben out of the water. It's about 10 to 12. It's 10 to 12, it's time to go. Ben wants us to get arrested. But anyway, big up as usual from John o, myself and Ben. Stephanie's home chilling, I left her home today so I have to go home and deal with a miserable wife because I'm doing the beach thing without her. But you know what, that's, that's part of marriage. You have to try your best and compromise and sometimes you have to leave the wife home, you know? Don't you agree, Jono? I agree. Jono My wife in a coat too. Jono leaves his wife home every time. <laughs> and son. And son. Both of them gonna be vexed. He leaves his family home every time. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much again. Please like and subscribe, share. Don't litter. Do not come to all these cool places and leave trash and stuff. Have a great week. Peace out.